then we're gonna uh, after the prayer or pledge, we're gonna have a moment of silence for David Frosty Peters, who was an industrial arts teacher at our district. He passed away on January fourth, twenty twenty four. So after the pledge, we'll have a moment of silence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done, done on, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence, please. Thank you. Roll call, please. President, Mr. Kashner. Here. Vice President, Mr. Persink. Here. Secretary, Mr. Anderson. Here. Treasurer, Mr. Griffiths. Mr. Cook. Here. Mr. Krigger. Here. Mrs. Miller. Here. Mrs. Rhodes. Here. Mr. Shuey. Uh, recognize student accomplishments. Okay, I have uh, quite a few. Uh, unfortunately, only three are here today due to some absences. But uh, let's start with um, our only middle school student we have here, Adrian Yo. If you would come up to the mic and just say a little bit about yourself, I have a certificate for you. Hi, my name is Adrian Yo. I am an eighth grade student here in Shimokin. A little bit about myself is I am in Junior National Honor Society with mostly all A's. I am also starting track and field for the first time this spring with still doing volleyball. It's pretty much all about myself. Thank you so much for having me student of the month. Okay, we'll move on to high school. Um, let's go with Hi, I'm Abby Carpentier. I'm a junior and I play basketball. I'm a part of the National Honor Society FIOS Club and Student Council. And my favorite teacher is Miss Madrak because I plan on going into pre-med and she is my anatomy teacher. Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Carly Nye. I'm a senior. I'm attending the University of Tampa in the fall. I play soccer, basketball, and track and field. I'm involved in National Honor Society, Student Council, Varsity Club, and my favorite teacher is Ms. Sahanik because she's a business teacher and I'm majoring in business. Thank you so much. did not pick girls basketball. <laughs> great students too. Not all so I, I don't really know Adrian that much. Is it Adrian? She's a nice student. I observe her in school. She's a very polite, respectful young student. But I don't know her that well. But of course I know Abby and Carly who are on our girls basketball team. And I'm going to say a few comments about them. Some of them they might laugh at. Uh, Abby, an interesting fact about Abby. Abby is one of the only individuals that I've ever met in my life that does not like ketchup. <laughs> Interesting fact about her, but she's a distinguished honor roll student. She is a leader on her basketball team. She's very smart when it comes to basketball IQ, and she's worked really hard in it over the last year, and she's done a wonderful job for us both on and off the court, so congratulations to Abby. And Carly, Carly is a four-year starter at point guard for us, so we're going to really miss her after this year. Um, excellent soccer player. So I believe he scored 6, 58, okay, 59, 59 goals for us, which is quite an accomplishment. She has accomplishment. 50 plus, so maybe there's a discretion, and maybe we need 60. Yeah, maybe we, <laughs> somehow we can get an extra goal on there. Uh, and like I said, on, on the basketball team, uh, she's a leader for sure. She's been a starter for four years. We can always count on her. She shows up early to practice. She shows up to everything. She takes charge in the house. <coughs> She's going to have a great career at Tampa. And um, both both those young ladies are, are quality girls, and they have quality families. And that's 
probably why they're quality girls. So congratulations to all three yeah. of our we students have to say of the month. About you? See that? What'd she say? She's, um, her favorite coach and her dad's her soccer coach. And she said that about <laughs> In all honesty, she was very humble. She does have, she was first team all star in soccer. She was an all star in basketball. 50 plus goals. We'll call it 60 if it's 59. But uh, she's a district medalist in basketball and track. And she's a captain of the soccer and basketball team. As long as well as being in student council and the National Honor Society, so you can do it. You can do all these things and continue to be a great student. So thank you to all the students and families here. Now you may go if you want. Just one more thing to talk about. She's also a good employee. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Do you want me to just no. Go? Yep. Um, yeah. You can okay. continue. I'll I'll be quick because it looks like Miss Neri has a lot of treats to hand out today. So um, just real quick, since the last meeting, we did finish up our first round of Keystones. Um, we are gearing up for PSSAs and Keystones come the end of the year, uh, so we'll be working hard with that, um, as well as trying to um, do a nice recap with the students and stuff to prepare them. We did held a uh, we held a PMA event here at the school, and I want to thank the entire music department for having such a great event. It was held right here during the school day. You would have never known it. Um, discipline continues to decline, and I, you know I got to say thank you to Mr. Carnuccio because all of his work is starting to show. The halls are quiet, education's taking place, and your children are safe. Uh, and I'm proud to say that, and he's helped uh, tremendously with that. Um, speaking of discipline, uh, Friday I'll be holding our first uh, disciplinary committee meeting, and I'd like to invite any board members uh, in the library at 2.35. Uh, it's going to just be with me and a few teachers that are interested, and we're going to start going over some things and, and uh, allowing some leadership and ownership amongst some other people here and make sure they all have voices. Um, I wouldn't be a good principal and father if I didn't take this opportunity. Number one, I want to congratulate and thank Coach Persink for a, a great year this year for football. But as I don't know if you are all aware or not, but we did have two athletes named All-State in Quad A. And not only did we have uh, two students named, one of them was named on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. That was my son. And I'm proud of him. And congratulations for that. But also uh, Chase Pencil was named on the uh, press end coaches. And Chase was named the best defensive athlete in the state of Pennsylvania, Quad A. They go to Shemokin. Um, so congratulations to those students. Uh, you know, they, they come from great families. And, you know, it's an honor that I only dreamed of in high school. So I'm proud to say my son is that, and, as well as Chase. And again, it couldn't be done without the help of uh, Coach Persay. And just so everybody's aware, I wasn't aware of Mr. Peters, but I'll never forget, if you leave the chuck, you better duck. Because that's what he used to say in the drill press, right? <laughs> if you leave the chuck in, you better duck. So teachers make a lasting impression on everybody. My condolences to his family. He was a, he was a great teacher and integral part of my life. But thanks again to Mr. Venna. Uh, the new teachers are doing great. I couldn't do it without your help with hiring them. And uh, again, all the board members for your support. Thank you. Mrs. Neri? Okay. Yeah, your turn. Um, I brought my student council officers, so Kate Lasevich, Piper Stone, Cooper Whitmer, and Kingston Hine, you can come up, and my daughter Ruby. Um, we would like to recognize the school board. It's School Board Appreciation Month. Um, um, so we just wanted to say, um, especially like student council is one of those things that um, without board support, like we wouldn't get to do um, all the fun, new, like exciting things that we get to do every year. Um, so we just wanted to take the opportunity to give you guys um, a little treat here. It's s'more themed. Um, you're appreciated s'more than you know. So, <laughs> I'm going to have each of them come around and give you, there's a s'more cupcake and then a little s'more treat bag. Um, so make sure everybody in the circle gets one K. Okay. So thank you guys for everything that you help uh, make happen for us. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat until Friday. Thank you. 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 Okay, the cupcake and the bribe are really good.
Yeah. 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 Ye
this for what it's worth. But that's that's my comment with regard to um, the quality of the instruction, but primarily the quality of the people here and their infringing upon the rights of the other students to have a good and quality education. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Boyce. I, I just will make a comment. Did you bring up any of your concerns to anybody else prior to this meeting? Yes. Okay. And I and I think they're being handled, um, okay. to be fair. Um, but, um, you know, I would, I would like to see some forward motion on things that are targeted at the children here that want to excel, as opposed to kind of ushering people along <coughs> to wherever they're going to go, oblivion, incarceration. So I just, I don't want to get in an argument with you, but I, I take offense to some of those comments. I, I disagree strongly. It's, it's a very small percentage, I'm sure. It's right, because I, I think w the way you presented it was you, you paint it with a broad brush. I have daughters that go to this school. I just saw two wonderful young ladies that play on my basketball team. I just saw a wonderful young lady who was recognized. Absolutely. I saw a student council. The students here have the best opportunities and my own kids go here, I know firsthand. School, life, career is what you make of it. And from what I understand, your son is an intelligent young man, and we will be sure to make sure he gets those opportunities. But I, I do take offense, because I, I love my school and I love my kids here, all of our kids. And I, I think what you said, I'm hoping came across wrong, okay? because that is not what Shemokin area is. We've got wonderful kids, wonderful families, great programs, and great employees, and, and great board members, okay? I'll, I will give you my phone number right now. You write it down, you call me tomorrow. But yeah, I don't mean that it's like the people Well, I took it that way, the but I- in this room are absolutely invested in their children's performance and education. And I'm 100% on board with everyone around here, I'm just saying, there is an element coming from an outside school district, having been in Tampa, having had students in plant, having had students in other places, um, and having many years of educational experience, both ESL in three different countries, teaching social studies at a high level here in high school and in junior high school, and having taught biology, biological sciences as well. I'm coming from a position of, I understand how it works, and I just think it's a, a point for improvement. I don't mean this as a slight, and please don't take it as a slight. Okay. But I think it's a point for improvement of, of the school in general, but a, a point for, of improvement for actually helping those. I mean, you have, you have students here that are excelling beyond you know, anyone's expectations. I understand that. But the people that are not about excelling should not impinge upon those who are. Right. I, I don't disagree with you on that. So, um, you give me a call tomorrow, 570-205-1144. That's my personal cell phone. Call me tomorrow. Okay. We'll have a conversation. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Uh, Mr. Boyce, before you leave, uh, are you staying for the entire meeting? Yeah, I'll be here. I, I'd like to speak with you at the end Absolutely. just to communicate more. Thank you. Anybody else? Are there uh, any additional citizens' comments? Okay, moving on, work session agenda. Okay, uh, just a couple of items to address here. Um, on item 707, the date for uh, the resignation should be February 23rd. And item 6.07, the effective date for that, if it passes, will be February 1st regarding dress code. Yes. Okay. We'll go on to old business. We have a motion to approve item 5.01. Motion. Second. On the question. As many of those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries unanimously. We have a motion to approve item 5.02. Motion. Second. On the question. As 
Aye. And those are in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries unanimously. We have a motion to approve item 5.03. Business. Uh, may I have a motion to, to approve item 6.01? Motion. Second. On the question. As many of those are in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries unanimously. May I have a motion to approve item 6.02? to approve item 6.03. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Persing. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krigger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. We have a motion to approve item 6.04. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Yeah. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krigger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persing. Yes. We have a motion to approve item 6.05. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krigger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. We have a motion to approve item 6.06. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krigger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persing. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Excellent. We have a motion to approve item 6.07. On the question. As many of those are in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Some no. Anybody else a no? Okay. You're a no. Motion carries. They have a motion to approve item 6.08. to approve item 6.09. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krigger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. 
May I have a motion to approve item 6.10? Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persing. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. May I have a motion to approve or disprove transportation services in item 6.11? And, um, and waive or not waive the, the uh... Motion to approve. Second. And waive. And waive. Second. To approve and waive. And waive yeah. On the question. Roll call, please. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Moving on to item 6.12. Is there a motion to table this item? Motion. Second. As many of those are in favor of tabling item 6.12, say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Motion carries unanimously. Is there a motion to approve item 6.13? Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Krieger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. <coughs> May I have a motion to approve item 6.14? Motion. Second. On, on the question. Roll call, please. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. We have a motion in item 6.15 to approve and disapprove exoneration requests. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Going backwards. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. We have a motion to approve item 6.16. Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. <clears throat> May I move on the personnel. May I have a motion to approve all personal items in motion 7.01 through 7.20 as amended? Motion. Second. On the question. Roll call, please. Mr. Cook. Yes. Mr. Kashner. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Yes. Mrs. Miller. Yes. Mr. Persink. Yes. Mrs. Rhodes. Yes. Mr. Shuey. Yes. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Okay. Board member reports. I, I just want to thank the, uh, the the elementary student council for our, our tasty snacks tonight. They're very kind on their part. So thank you, Mrs. Neary. Appreciate that. Mr. Craig, I think you had something. Yes, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Vanna, Mr. Kashner, uh, board president, um, Mrs. Colangelo, and the rest of the board and, and office staff for just providing me with everything I needed to um, make a transition onto the board and, and contribute. So I appreciate all the support and everybody's guidance. Um, secondly, uh, the best club this past um, month in December participated in Wreaths Across America, which I think was an awesome um, volunteer activity. They placed wreaths at the graves um, at the Fort Indian Town Gap 
National Cemetery. Uh, and I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Joe Brady for contributing to the transportation costs to get them down there for that. Uh, I think that was a huge help to the district and to our club to support a great cause. Thank you. Uh, and I'd also like to wish the boys good luck at the basketball game tonight in Milton. Anybody else? Anybody else for board member reports? Yeah. So, so last week we had the PMEA Modern Band District Eight Festival here, which was fantastic. It's nice to see that program continuing to grow and thrive. Um, and we see uh, our actual bands in the uh, District Eight Festival. Um, also, the Something Rotten practice is underway. So, musical seasons coming, which is always exciting. Uh, I like that show. It's, it's a funny show. So I, I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'd just like to welcome uh, Frank Arrigan on as our new solicitor. <laughs> and uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Good luck. Thanks. Yes. Thank you, guys. Uh, moving on, uh, a closed meeting announcement. The executive session was held for personnel issues on Tuesday, January 9th. 2024 from 6 p.m. to 9.05 p.m. and Wednesday, January 17th, 2024 from 5.30 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. prior to the uh, rescheduled monthly board meeting. Uh, no, nothing from the floor. Motion to adjourn. <laughs>